this week in the news, the Mako coaster has been unveiled, the Joker has had a dismal media day, and Merlin are showing their interest in another American Lego land. Construction walls of the hypercoaster Mako have come down, showing us the new coaster in all of its glory. As you can see in these photos, there is very good theming around the area. The new coaster is set to open on June 10th, 2016. The British company Merlin has apparently shown interest in New York for their third American Legoland. The site they are looking at is said to be a bunch of empty farm properties. And finally, in this week's roller coaster news, the Joker has had a media day last Thursday that went a little bit wrong. When one of the cars got stuck at the top of the ride, the whole thing had to be shut and it kind of ruined the entire thing. On the Coaster Fusion blog, the people who were in the incident recalled it. As our car came to a stop, something odd happened. Joe and I went head over heels one last time, but instead of completing a full rotation, our bodies stopped upside down. At first I thought the car would fix itself, but after a minute of sitting there, I realised the coaster had just malfunctioned. Without hesitation, Maintenance crews and personnel were on site attending to us, making sure we were all right and comfortable. Of course, the coaster enthusiast in each of us was delighted we were the first riders officially stuck on it. But we were in no danger. We were safe and sound, just had some blood rushing to our heads, but we didn't mind. The guys were working to fix the situation, were professional and really had our safety in mind the entire time. Considering Joe and I have worked these massive pieces of machinery before, we knew that with nothing could go wrong that could put our lives in danger. That is all we have time for on this week's episode of the Roller Coaster Ramble. Of course, check back here next week for episode four. Thank you.